Well, the red tide health alert for Lighthouse Beach Park on Sanibel is now lifted. Health officials are still encouraging people to be careful on the beach and to watch for any respiratory irritation. Now, red tide can also cause health issues for our pets as well. So make sure you guys are keeping a close eye on that. But there are some symptoms you can look out for. Now, vets say that if your pets ingest red tide, you can actually see them start to cause seizures, vomiting, diarrhea, and wheezing. Now, if your pet starts to show these signs, you need to immediately seek medical care. Care. Please bathe them after you come home or before you leave the beach with fresh water and soap. And vets also say minor symptoms in pets can also include watering eyes, sneezing and coughing just like we do. And Lauren, obviously something else you want to talk about is exactly this red tide as well. Just kind of tell us a little bit more about what we're seeing so far here in Southwest Florida. Yeah, so I've been following the red tide levels for the past couple of days. And John, thankfully, they have been going down Tuesday into Wednesday, especially we saw a big difference. Fast forward to now today on Sunday. Wow. Before we were seeing a lot of the yellow and orange here. So FWC goes out and they do daily water sampling. We were seeing a lot of low to medium red tide levels, especially right off of Englewood and through the Lee County Barrier Idol I Islands, excuse me. In Englewood, though, we are seeing still a low trace of Corona brevis, which does cause red tide levels. And then we're also seeing still very low traces right here, just south of Boca Grande. But as we work our way south, you can see not present in any of the samples when it comes to that organism that we are talking about when it comes to red tide. And that's a good thing because we're starting to see our wind shift. That'll be today as our next cold front moves through. So starting off this morning, we're seeing the wind come more out of the northeast. By this afternoon, though, it'll be more out of the northwest. Remember, an onshore flow pushes the red tide further inland, which could uh, be an issue for a lot of people who might be sensitive to red tide. But it looks like we have very low levels, even as the wind is shifting, so all of this is trending in the right direction.